from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. The Clippers host the Utah Jazz on Clippers basketball. Favors downloaded Jefferson, knocked away by Griffin and saved beautifully to Chris Paul. Almost another turnover, but they get the magnificent lob and jam from Griffin to Jordan. Burke turns it over. Here comes Paul. He's got Griffin out front. The bounce to Blake. But damn, that wasn't easy either. Because Gordon Hayward knew what was going to happen, so Blake had to get ahead. Chris had to get him the ball, then he had to kind of duck under and then go up over the rim. Lambda, the Utah was loaded up on the other side because they were trying to keep Chris on the left side or the strong side of the ball, but Chris insisted once he got to the middle of the paint, he had DJ or Blake. Good open look for Dudley. Bingo! Boy, he was due, too. You think? Hayward and Burke... Their backcourt duo, both scoreless. Griffin inside gets fouled. I'm pretty much convinced after watching that sequence that Williams can't handle Blake on the block. Uh, Griffin to the hole. He'll get fouled. Free throws coming. Dudley to Griffin, but why not? Good ball movement. Open again. Step further out. Makes no difference. He's shooting that shot with such confidence now. He's a pretty good player. Nice job. He used the rim as his friend. He made it look like he was going to the weak side, then used the left hand so Cantor could not block it at all. Walker wound up with a big ball game. 21 points after not much luck in the first half. Blocked by Jordan, taken by Paul. Yeah, met at the rim by Griffin, then DJ cleaned it up. Beautiful. That is some up and under move. Did you see Cantor's face? <laughs> he said, like, how did he do that? Yeah, he's like, didn't he travel? Ball ahead to the a lot. Be the one on Fox Sports Live. What a play from Crawford. The uh, alley oop pass to Griffin. Griffin to the basket, slam up. Pass to counts and he's fouled. They did that play a couple of times last year. But the way Chris just looked to the bench, it was almost like I told you guys that would work. Blake will turn with five on the clock. That's a good job against a very physical defender. Good Griffin. Dribble, get fouled. Bosch, they win at 108-107. Bosch with a double-double, including 37 points, a season high, and the game-winning three-pointer. Man, that is some win for the Heat in Rip City as Blake Griffin comes out of the timeout with a buck isolated against Cantor. He can't move that big guy. He can get around him sometimes. Good pass. Three ball. Bingo! Matt Barr! Griffin again, faces up, backs down, into the paint, puts it up, gets fouled, scores! Cannon looking on in disbelief and anguish at the brilliance of Blake Griffin, who has 32 points and scored in every conceivable way. Here they are again. Well, Cannon having a nightmare now. They're three and six, second night of back-to-back -back this year. Griffin again! He's going monster stop. He's against Favors now. There's a long arm shot blocking defender. He got sandwiched, threw it up, and he'll go to the free throw line. He's just wearing the jazz out. Griffin. To the hole. Slam dunk. And a great beat from Paul, who just got his first assist of the period. <laughs> 17 points in the quarter for Griffin. The Griffin. Could have been another assist. And Griffin. Hunting for number 40. Career high 47, his rookie year against the Knicks. He's got it. He certainly was something, Blake. 40 points, 10 rebounds, double doubles tonight. They had no answer for you. Seemed like you made it look easy. Can you describe the zone you got into in the fourth quarter? I mean, my teammates just kept giving me the ball and kept giving me the confidence. Um, you know, they did their work and put me in a position to score easily, so, um, you know, I had to had to finish for them. You've been on quite the tear lately, especially in these last two games. Can you describe the mindset you've had coming in? Uh, just to be aggressive and mix it up, you know, not do the same thing, um, you know, mix up inside, outside, you know, try to be a good passer. Um, you know, those things just stay involved in the offense. It seemed like you jammed or cut your finger on a slam dunk earlier in the game. How's it doing? Uh, it's all right. I don't, I don't actually don't know how I did it, but I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> Uh, you, you had 12 straight at the free throw line in the game. You look so upset when you missed the first one. You were still efficient at the line tonight. How, if, how confident are you that you can knock those down now? 
Uh, a lot more confident. You know, my, my, my teammates give me the, the confidence when I step up there. Um, the work I put in with my shooting coach, Bob Tate, you know, he's done a tremendous job. So um, it's really all about confidence for me. Blake, you guys have the Suns on Monday, one of the surprise teams in the league now. What do you guys have to do to come out and keep rolling? Uh, make sure we're consistent, you know, defensively and offensively. Make sure we're on our rotations. Um, they're a tough team. They play hard. So uh, we got to be on our toes. All right. Congrats on a big win tonight, Blake.